Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and I would like to share my goals with you. Uh, both my goals from last year and how I did with them and then my goals for 2018. And I have taken a long time to get around to doing this and I think it's because I'm kind of a perfectionist. I, uh, I've been working on things, working on lists and, and writing things down and going back and watching my last year's videos and all of that and I still am sometimes just paralyzed to actually film the video because I'm afraid I'm going to forget something. But I decided, you know what? I need to just get this done. If I forget something, oh well. <laughs> so, um, just uh, I'm just going to go through my list and tell you what I accomplished for last year and then what I hope to accomplish within that same goal for this coming year. I do have a new project that I'm going to be working on, but it's going to last me for three years. So I'll do a separate video about that. I'll give you a little taste of what it's about uh, towards the end of this video. But let me just first kind of go through the basics. Um, as far as my Goodreads goal, uh, last year I set a goal for 150 and then I knew that I would probably go over that because even after I set it, then I decided on my Project 17 and 17 uh, and I uh, I said, if I read an average of 17 books, then that's 204 books. Well, I had read 204 books the previous year, and I was pretty sure I could do it, so I didn't go back and change my Goodreads goal. I don't really like changing it. I just like to leave it where it is, and if I go over, then it's fun to see it go above 100%. So I left it at 150, and then as the year progressed, I started thinking, hmm, maybe I could get 250, and I did. I reached 251. I wanted to go one over so that, just in case I looked back and I saw that I had actually accidentally counted something twice, then I would still be at 250. Now, I did count a few books twice, but I read those twice. I, If I listen to an audiobook in its entirety and then read the print book in its entirety separately, that's two books. So um, that's a reread, and I did count a few like that. Uh, so I finished 251 books. Then within those, 127 of them were on audio, 124 were in print, and that includes a handful of ebooks. Not a whole lot of ebooks, but just a few. Um, then 36 of those were Christmas books. I read some Christmas books back in January and then uh, quite a few in December. Um, I don't know why I separated that out into a separate category, but anyway, I did. Uh, now, I don't usually dwell too much on star ratings. I, I don't even usually share that. If you want to go on my Goodreads and see what star rating I gave to a book, you are more than welcome to. But um, I don't make a big deal about rating books because who am I? I'm not a book critic. I I can tell you if I enjoyed a book or not, but sometimes I have a hard time articulating even why I enjoyed it. So I, I you know, don't put too much stock in my star rating system. But um, I did rate... Uh, I, I was very generous with my five-star books this year. I rated 47 books five stars. But when you read 250, you know, that's that's a good number. So uh, then 157, I rated four stars. 42, I gave three stars. And then five, I gave two stars. So no one-star books. Um, that was my... So that's kind of my little, my year in a nutshell. Someday, one of these days, maybe this year, I don't know, I would like to download that spreadsheet that Brock has done, but I I just haven't had time, and so I don't have a lot of percentages and everything like that for you. I'm just going to kind of tell you what I participated in and, and what I did, uh, and let that be that. So I did do the Pop Sugar and the Around the Year and 52 Books reading challenges, even though I said I wasn't going to. I looked at the list later in the year, and I decided that I had already accomplished most of them, and that I could accomplish uh, the rest of what I hadn't read just by reading what I already had on my current TBR. So um, so I did finish both of those. And I have done videos, but I haven't uploaded them because they're on my old camera that I want to edit. I want to be able to edit in pictures of the books. And so hopefully I'll get those done pretty soon. Uh, I also participated in our Summer Library Challenge, which was kind of a scaled-down version of Around the Year in 50 Books or something like that. It was called Around the Shelves in 80 Days. And we had 80 days to um, complete uh, books that were all kind of travel-themed. They took place in different continents or uh, different locations that had to do with travel. 
travel. So that was kind of cool. Uh, our, uh, and then going forward, our lo a local library is doing a winter book bingo challenge. And so I have gotten the paper for that. I just picked it up last week. I will be doing that and then whatever challenge they do in the summer. Going forward for 2018, I probably will still go ahead and do the Pop Sugar. I may not do Around the Year in 52 books. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really looked at either list very closely to see if it's going to fit with what I want to read. It's not a high priority, but I have done the Pop Sugar the last three years, so if I do any of those, it'll be that one. Um, then other book lists I'm reading from, I read the Sunshine State Young Reader Award finalists, 15 books every school year that are for middle grade readers. Uh, one year I did read the, the ones for third to fifth grade, but uh, that's not a high priority. And they do have the Florida Teen Reads, which is the 15 books for high schoolers. And now that both my kids are in high school, I really ought to take a closer look at those. But as of right now, I don't have a goal to read those. Um, then I did 194 videos in 2017. I may try to scale back a little bit on that for next year, although it's easier now that I'm filming on my phone and not editing. It is a lot quicker to get videos done because I don't have to worry about editing. Um, I did 13 readathons, read actually no, 12, 12 readathons um, that were on BookTube. Uh, I had counted in my notes here, I wrote plus one at the library, but it was actually more like the year-round reading challenge. It was the Around the Shelves of 52 Books, so it wasn't really a read-a-thon. It was a reading challenge. Um, I did uh, 10 read-alongs and buddy reads. Well, I think I actually accomplished nine, and I wrote, because I wrote one plus nine, and I think the one was one that I said I was going to do and I didn't do. It was a, a read-along. I can't even remember which one it is now, but I joined a read-along thinking I was going to, to read the book, and I didn't. Um, then... I hosted two challenges or two read-alongs. I hosted uh, for the second year in a row, March Mystery Madness. And by the way, we are working on that already for this year. It's going to be fantastic. There's going to be almost 20 hosts, and I am so excited about it. We're ironing out the challenges right now, and you should hear some, uh, you sh should start hearing announcements about the challenges by February 9th. Then um, I also hosted a Christmas read-along of the Donna Van Leer Christmas Hope books. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a member of three book clubs that I'm actively trying to read from. Uh, two at our local library and then uh, one online book club, which is the Book One Cozies Club. And um, I didn't do so well with it this year. I don't... Sorry, Bob. Our dog is right here standing under me. Uh, I didn't get very many of the Book One Cozies Club books read this past year. Um, and I... I don't know going forward how much I'm going to be able to do this year. I'm trying to stick with the TBR and the, the books that I have on my shelves. So if one comes up that uh, the Cozy Club is reading that I already want to read, then I'll definitely read it. But I'm trying really hard not to add more on to my TBR than what I already have. Uh, as far as cozy cozy mysteries go. Um, then I am an inactive member of several other online book clubs and book groups, but uh, those are the ones that I always try to at least pay attention and, and set a goal to read. Uh, I did several themed months for the year. In February, I concentrated on romance and fantasy. Uh, of course, in March, I did mysteries. In May, I did a middle grade May readathon, and I also did a book a day in May. In June, I read only big books. In September, I did series September. In October, I focused on reading standalones that were on my TBR for the year that I hadn't finished or hadn't read, and I did not get all of those read. Uh, then in November, I read a lot of nonfiction. I did still do some fiction, but I did more nonfiction than I normally do. And then in December, I focused on Christmas books. Uh, I still ended up finishing some of my November books in December, and then I had a, um, a one book for the Mystery Book Club that I had to read in December. But other than that, I just read Christmas books in December. So, uh, in fact, uh, um, let's see, you know, never mind. Um, okay. So, going forward, I don't think I'm going to do as try to do as many themed months this year. I'm uh, For February, instead of Romance and Fantasy, I'm going to focus on finishing the Sunshine State books that I haven't read. I think I have seven left to read for this school year, because in March, I will just read Mysteries. And then um, in April, April is when they announce next year's Sunshine State books, so I want to get right on those as soon as they're announced. Uh, in June, I may still do my giant book June. I don't know. And of course, I'll still do nonfiction November. Uh, but I'm going to try not to lock myself into too many specific categories 
because I just want to be able to have the freedom to just grab something off my shelf if I want to read something. Uh, but I will still plan on reading Christmas books again in December and, and mostly nonfiction in November. Okay, so um, I mentioned readathons. Let me tell you, I do have a little list of the readathons that I did. Uh, of course, I mentioned March Mystery Madness, uh, Series September. Uh, those were both month long challenges, nonfiction November. Then other actual readathons. I did the Time Hopathon. I did Readorama. I did Tome Topple in April and August. I did not do it in November because I was out of tomes that I wanted to read for the year. Um, sorry, Bob keeps running back and forth. It's, uh, it's trash day. So when the trash trucks are going by, Bob is just going crazy. Um, I did the Dewey's 24 hour readathon in April and October. In April, I managed to stay up all night and read. In October, I didn't. Uh, I did middle grade May readathon in May. Uh, I did booktubeathon. I did the cozyathon. I did, um, the spookathon. Um, oh, here's where I did have a list of the read-alongs that I did. Uh, Elizabeth Tyree and I read, uh, all three of the books that have been translated so far of the Shadow of the Wind, um, I can't even think of Cemetery of Forgotten Books. We read all three of those. Uh, I did buddy read A Man Called Uva with Laura from Omni Triplets 04. And Jane Catherine on Books at first joined us but had to bow out because of some family health issues. Uh, I read The Good Dream by Donna Van Leer with Crystal Christel from Vintage Christel. And then also with Chris and then Emily Sears, we all three read The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. It was a reread for Emily and me. Uh, then I was in a traveling book club and I read uh, the Emperor's Riddle, I believe that's the name of it, by Kat Zhang, and I reviewed that. Uh, that is, uh, the Traveling Book Club is hosted by Akos. Uh, I am going to be sending out the next traveling book, and I'm going, uh, I'm going to send, um, the Summer I Saved the World in 65 Days. Uh, I'm first going to send it to a class, and she'll send it out then to the other members. Right now, we currently have four members, but if you are interested in getting in on the uh, Summer I Saved the World in 65 Days, then uh, let me know, and I will, um, I need to get your email address, and I will forward that on to a class, and you can be a member. Okay, then, um... Oh, and I also had uh, kind of a little mini reading, uh, buddy read with uh, Alana from Alana Reads of the um, the shoebox, the Christmas shoebox by um, Francine Rivers. And then I started out the year, I said I was going to join Sarah from Not Just Romance Novels. She had at first announced at the beginning of 2017 she was going to do a Shakespeare read-along and read six comedies and six tragedies. I read the first one, which was A Midsummer Night's Dream, and uh, a couple of us uh, actually read it, and then I, I slogged through it. I tell you, I had a hard time with it, and so it did not disappoint me when she announced that Shakespeare and her didn't get along either, and she was abandoning that uh, challenge for the year. So I was more than happy to abandon that run along with her, and I did not continue that um, that read along. Okay, so that is what I did for. 2017. As far as readathons, you know, I never know until I hear them announced whether I'm going to join in or not. Um, things that I definitely will do are things like Booktubeathon. Um, of course, I'm going to host March Mystery Madness. And I, did I already mention we have added a lot of hosts this year? It's going to be amazing. So even if you think you don't even like mystery of any kind, I hope you will at least give it a try. Um, we have several hosts that read more cozy and then several hosts that read more gritty uh, thrillers and all that. And there's going to be something for everybody. So please, please pay attention and join in as soon as you hear the announcements. Um, okay, so going forward. Now, I'm, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have, um, well, okay, I know what I didn't mention was my Project 17 and 17. So I did accomplish the goal to read a minimum of seven, or to read an average of 17 books per month. All I would have needed to do to reach that goal is to read 204 for the whole year, and I did get to 251. So I more than met that goal. And I did have several lists of 17 that I completed, and some lists that I did not complete, but I made good progress in. So I think I'll do a separate video about my Project 17 and 17 and just tell you what excuse me what books I've finished and what I what lists I finished and and 
just how I did for that challenge, but I'm not going to include it here because it's going to run too long. So some of you have asked about my Project 17 at 17, and uh, and I think it was a success. So going forward, I kind of thought maybe I'll do 18 and 18 and everything, but I'm really going to have to scale down my reading for this year. I'm mostly going to focus on audiobooks because we're going to be adding on to our house. I have got to systematically go through every room in my house and declutter. I just have so much in the way of household projects to do. I've got a, a building out back that was a detached garage, and that's kind of my scrapbooking studio. But my scrapbooking stuff is covered up by boxes I brought from my mother's house and all that, and it's just so much to do. So I think I can accomplish all of that if I've got audiobooks in my ears. And so that'll be where the direction my reading will be going mostly for for this year. But I do... I do want to do a project because I'm task-oriented, goal-oriented, all of that. And I got this idea because I was listening to Sarah from Not Just Romance Novels, and she was talking about a challenge that's called a stacked reading challenge. And she's doing it this year. I think she has nine, a stack of nine. And what you do is, it's basically a way to finish series. Um, you decide how many stacks you're going to have, and for your for your top one, you just have one. For your next one, two, then three, four, five, six, seven. She's going to nine, so like her biggest um, set of books she's reading is a series that has nine books, or maybe she has nine books left to finish, and that's her goal for the year. Well, I thought about doing that for the year. I was kind of looking at the different series I wanted to finish this year, and I, I couldn't make it quite fit into one year. But I have a lot of things I want to finish, and I didn't want to put a lot of pressure on myself for this year specifically. So what I decided to do is something I'm calling 20 by 20, and I have a stack of 20, and it's not just individual series. It is uh, categories of things. So I have from 1 to 20, my biggest group is 20, and I want to finish those by the end of 2020. So I have three years to finish all 20 stacks and I will do a separate video on my project uh, my 20 by 20 project and I hope you will check that out uh, I'm still tweaking it just a little bit I have it mostly all figured out but it gets tricky because I'll have one list you know one category thinking okay this is gonna be here and then I think of oh one more book that needs to go in that category well then that then you got to bump it to a different list and you got to shuffle things around. So I'm working on that. Uh, I'm just about done and uh, I hope to have that video up for you soon as well as a wrap up of my project 17 and 17. So that's all I can think of for this video. Uh, I'm going to close here and um, I hope you're doing well. Have a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.